Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the Mozilla Firefox error that it could not load XPCOM. So if this error is prohibiting you from opening up the Mozilla Firefox web browser, you're more than welcome to follow along in this tutorial with another web browser as well. But I'm able to get onto Firefox, so I'm going to open up this web page. I will have a link in the description of this video to this site. It'll say download Firefox in your language. You want to download the correct language here from this page. The first option is for 32-bit versions of Windows, the first download button, and the second button is for 64-bit version of Windows. If you do not know which version of Windows you're running, I'd recommend selecting the first one. So I'm going to select download here. It's going to say you've chosen to open this file, would you like to save it? I'm going to save it like I would any normal file. Once again, you can use another web browser. You do not need to use Firefox in order to download this file. Basically, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is reinstalling the browser but keeping personal settings, meaning it's going to go through and help repair corrupt files, and hopefully that will include this XPCOM error you might be getting. Okay, and once it's done downloading, you just want to left click on it once to open it up. And at this point, we can close out of the web browser. It's no longer necessary. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. It's going to say welcome to the Mozilla Firefox Setup Wizard. Click on next to continue. Select the standard installation, click on next again, and then just click on this upgrade button right here. And it's going to say completing the Mozilla Firefox setup wizard. Click finish to close the wizard. I'm going to uncheck the box to launch Firefox now, but your browser should have been repaired at this point and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.